Hi, I'm Joy and this is my channel Yoga with Joy. Welcome. So this is day 14 of our moon series where we're following the lunar cycle. We're approaching full moon and the energy is rising. Fire is really coming into this practice now. If you're following this for your own moon cycle, so your, your um, menstrual cycle as a woman, then this will be approaching your ovulation. So it might be ovulation day. This really is the summer time now of the lunar cycle and your menstrual cycle. Um, the mother in your menstrual cycle. Okay, see you in a moment. Start and seated. Make yourself comfortable. Ah, and starting with your eyes closed. So let's begin by taking note of our thoughts today. Thoughts are coming and going. They'll just rise and fall, move through our mind, like clouds might move through the sky. And we can invite them to rest. Drop down, relax, and then taking notes of our emotions. What's coming up for you today? How are you feeling? And again, Anything that arises is invited to relax. We can just rest with any emotions which come up. And then taking note of any body sensations. How are we in the body? Where are the aches and the pains? <coughs> Which areas are feeling open and loose? With these also, we can rest, relax. We can allow the breath to gently soften our experience of our body, our emotions and our mind. By deepening the inhale and lengthening the exhale. And as we inhale, we're feeling a lifting right from the base of the spine, coccyx, sacrum, right to the crown of the head. And as we exhale, there's a real softening, softening of shoulders and arms, back of the neck. Might be a feeling of the white light of the moon gently guiding us upwards. And then gently relaxing with a beautiful rays of light. And with this place of stillness and calm, 
We'll gently open the eyes. Bring the hands to the heart center. Deepen the breath and breathe out through the mouth. And bring in a little bit of internal fire. Inhale and exhale. Lovely. The hands to the heart, so the same place, but the palms are down and the one hand is over the other. Let's bring in our fire with our breath. So inhale, open, exhale, close. You can bend the head down as you rest on the exhale. Inhale, open and open up the chest. Engage the abdominal muscles, exhale, close. Inhale, exhale. And start to speed up. Inhale, exhale. Exhaling through the mouth. <sighs> Lovely, good. And then resting the hands back down at the heart. Releasing the arms down. And giving the arms a little bit of a shake out. And shaking out your shoulders. And arms forward. <sighs> Lovely. Bring the hands down. The feet coming out. The knees out. And just rock the hips from side to side. And bring the feet in together so that you've got a bit of a wide Balakonasana star posture. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. One more time. Lengthening on the inhale. Exhale, folding. Breath in, and then closing the knees, releasing any blanket or prop you had underneath, and then coming over onto all fours, so knees below the hips and hands below the shoulders. And we'll start with our cat flexions and extensions, so inhaling up. Exhaling, lifting towards the ceiling, the spine towards the ceiling. Inhale, and then exhale, abdomen and pelvic floor lifting. Inhale, and exhale. Wonderful. Inhale, looking up. <laughs> Exhale. And then gently back to centre. Fantastic. The hands go slightly further forward, turning the toes round. Lift up your mulabandha, your pelvic floor and your abs and come into the hover, strengthening your abdominal muscles, feeling your fire centre. Exhale, back into half downward dog. Inhale, up into an acute dog. Acute V. And exhale, down into the full expression of downward facing dog. And then let's gently walk the feet towards the hands. Just one little step at a time so that your feet are parallel with the mat, the outside edges are, 
and your feet are hip width apart. Lift up your toes and gently softening them down so you have a little look at your toes. You can bend your knees here in Uttanasana if you need to. And then bending the knees and gently rolling up one vertebrae at a time, stacking on top of each other. And coming up to standing, your hands at the heart, tucking in your tailbone, lifting up your abs. And then lifting with the hands out by the side, up. And then down through the centre. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Take a breath in and step back into downward facing dog. Take a full breath cycle here in downward dog. And inhale, and then you're either coming down in chaturanga through plank or you're lowering your knees down. Exhaling down onto the mat, elbows in the side, at the side, and then breath in either low cobra or into high cobra. Now the inhale, exhale down, turn the toes round, exhale, back into kind of puppy pose. Inhale into a form of Cobra up dog. Exhale back. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Inhale forward one more time. Exhale. Turn the toes round and back into downward dog. Breath in, and then in, exhale, the right leg up. Open up the hip so your heel is going back towards your hips. The knee is pointing out to the side of the room. And then bring the right leg forward into the runner's lunge. You can lower the knee down. Have a little look forward. The foot is in between the hands this time. And then exhale, we'll take a couple of the hamstring hip stretches. You can use blocks if you need to. We won't be here long though. And then looking forward. That's great. And then we'll gently bring ourselves up into warrior one. So the back foot is clipped down, but it's similar to the crescent lunge as you've got heel to heel alignment or a little bit wider. The knee is over ankle. Back foot's about 45 degrees. Bring the hands at the heart to start with. Lift up your toes and soften them back down. And then lifting up the arms. So you've got parallel arms looking straight ahead. And deep, full breath tucking in your tummy. Lovely deep breaths. Bring the hands overhead together and then down to the heart. Wonderful. And now we're going to bring in that back foot so that we're going to come into pyramid posture. The arms are going wide and then you can either hold your elbows or you're coming into reverse prayer. Behind your back, inhale, lengthen, exhale, gently softening and looking over the leg to your big toe. The strong back of the leg stretch. Tucking in your tummy. Breath in and then exhale, release the hands down, bend the knee 
and then we're going to come into pigeon. So your right knee is bending and the back leg is nice and straight. If you need a prop, like a block or a cushion underneath your right hip, please do. To stop it from falling over to the side. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, gently soften into pigeon. So deep, full breaths here. Feeling your whole body oh, surrender to this wonderful pose that really stretches out your glutes. Piriformis, this wonderful hip stretch, calms the nervous system. And then gently looking up, turning the toes round, and then bring yourself back into downward dog, and then shake out the back, the right leg. Have a little walk out downward dog if you wish. Lift up the right leg, open up the hip so that you can, the heel is going back towards the hips, knee is to the side of the room. Bring the left leg forward in between the hands, lower the knee down. I'm going to take just a few short little hamstring hip stretches here. Remember, you can use blocks if you need to. Wonderful, okay. Looking forward, lifting up, turning the back foot round. We're coming into warrior two on this side, knee over ankle, heel to heel alignment. Back foot in about 45 degrees. So hands at the heart in namaste, tucking in the tummy. Bring the arms up, powerful posture, Virabhadrasana one. Deep, full breaths. And hands together overhead, down to the heart, moving into pyramid. Making the adjustment, shortening the stance, clasping your elbows, or coming into reverse prayer. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, folding forward, looking at the big toe. Lift up your toes and soften them down. And breathe. Gently release your hands placing your hands down either side of your foot and then coming down into pigeon. So the left leg is bent, the right leg is nice and straight out the side. You might want a block here or cushion. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, folding forward. And you might be stacking your fists here or resting on your hands. So deep, full breaths. And slowly and gently bring yourself back up, opening up the chest planting the hands down and coming back into downward dog and you might just shake off your left leg and take a little moment in downward dog and ease out the heels and lowering your knees down and coming back into Shavasana <sighs> At first, before Shavasana, <laughs> I got a little bit carried away there. I think I was desperate to lie down. Um, we're going to come, just have the knees up towards the ceiling, the feet by the edge of the mat, the arms out a little bit, and we'll gently 
rock out the hips from side to side. This is the wide leg stretch here, stretching out the hips. And then back to centre. Draw one knee, then the other into the chest. Have a little rock from side to side. And then place the hands on the knees and then exhale together the knees and then inhale, they're going away from each other. So the circles you're making are of the knees independently, so they're moving independently. And then the other direction. Your toes might still be touching. And gently make your way down to Shavasana. So however that is for you, you could be with your knees up or your legs down and the blanket on or not. So you're taking your time to fully rest here in this wonderful final relaxation posture, putting your whole body relax. You could sense the beautiful white light of the moon resting on your body, bathing it in this magical light. Feeling the moonlight resting in the palms of your hands. Resting in the soles of your feet. Feeling this beautiful moonlight resting in your navel. right at the centre of your body. Like your body's centre is a still lake, quiet, gentle, and the moon's beautiful, crisp, light, it's reflecting in the centre of your body, radiating out from your centre, all the way through your body to your hips and your heart and your throat, your head and your legs and your arms. Your whole body is bathed in this white light. Now from here, we'll make some gentle movements maybe in the fingers and the toes. Our moonlight in our palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. Taking the moonlight with us. If you wish to, you can follow my, me and move onto your side. And then start to move back up to a seated position. Feeling the moon rest. 
resting in your heart space, your heart center. A gentle guiding upwards, the soft light right from the base to the crown. Taking a moment to touch in, touch base with yourself. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Taking a few deep breaths. Mm. Lovely and full to wake up the body. Now bring the hands to the heart center. Namaste. We'll close with our OM vibration. so much for joining me. It's a real pleasure to have you and I hope you enjoyed this day 14 of our lunar series. Ah, a bit of fire. Whoop whoop. <laughs> really gets the body going. Beautiful moon, beautiful body. Super grateful you're here and joining me with this series. And of course, if you like it, you can subscribe down below. And I'd love to hear your comments. So keep the comments coming and just really great to hear how you're doing with it. So yeah, lots of love and see you tomorrow. If you'd like to become a member of this channel, then you can just click the join button below and it will show you the exclusive membership perks. It'll be so lovely to have you on board. Namaste.